Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, guys. Hope everyone's well. Um, so I'm a couple of minutes late. I'm two minutes late. It's ten o two. It's not too bad. Um, I've got my coffee. Although I am in my conservatory and it's really warm in here. I'm actually just gonna open the back door. One second. I'm just going to pull this across, okay? So, good morning, good morning. Hope everyone's well. Are you fine today, doggo? Um, so, I hope everyone's well. Um, we are day one of, obviously, at home with the kids. Morning mindset day three, though. So, I've just done the... Um, I'm just going to wait a minute and a couple of minutes and see if anyone is around, see if anyone comes on. Um, otherwise, I will just be talking to myself, which is fine. See, so, following on from Lucy's live yesterday, plenty of water. What I try and do to try and help me drink lots of water is um, I fill these up, put them in my fridge, and I try and drink two of them a day. It doesn't always happen, if I'm completely honest, but just going to wait a minute and see if anyone pops on. So, today's topic is personal development and how personal development... So developing you as a person um, helps just develop your mind in, it's all part, like, like we said, it's all part of the big, the bigger picture. So I'm just going to wait a couple of seconds, see who's around, see who's going to jump on. I am in the right place. There's, I can see there's one person watching. Can you let me know that I'm in the right place? Two people are watching. Hello, hello. I'll just wait a couple of minutes. I thought I was going to be late. Hi, Caroline. You're right, my love. Have we done the Joe Wicks? That is a big question. I'll have the kids done the Joe Wicks. We have just done it. Ella's now, uh, I have to say, whereas Ella's, Ella's at secondary, she's pretty much got her own little schedule thing sorted out. So she's in there. Harry's reading. And Finley's actually asleep. This is why I suggested doing them at 10 o'clock, if I'm honest, because I was like, right, Finley should, should sleep at this time. Luckily, it has paid off. He's asleep in his buggy in there. Hello, hello. Hi, Ashley. Um... Yeah, so I'll just give it a couple of minutes, give people a chance to get on. Morning, I'm in the right place. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, so I'm just going to get started because um, today's subject matter is personal development and how personal development is probably something, if I'm honest, like before I got involved in network marks, it's really hot in my... I might have to move in a minute. Oh, yeah, of course, Liz was doing hers as well. I forgot, yes. Amazing, amazing. Whatever it is, get those endorphins pumping on a morning. Hello, hello. Um, okay, so personal development and why personal development is so important to your mindset and to your business. And it's something probably that if I'm completely honest, before I got involved in network marketing, probably not something I talk, I've thought about um, consciously, because I think as you, especially when you're a child and when like you're going through college or whatever you do, as you grow up, you get your first job. You kind of just go through the motions a little bit. You're conditioned by what the world tells you to do. You're conditioned by outside influences. You're conditioned by your parents. Um, you know, you're conditioned by the influences that are around you. And probably it's not till you're an adult that you actually think, actually, like, who am I? Who is the person that I really want to be? Like, am I being the best version of myself? Am I living my best life? That's a, a quote that's thrown around quite a lot at the moment. Um, but it's absolutely true. Like, we all absolutely have the potential to live our best life you know we all um have a, a conscious mind and a subconscious mind and to work and develop on both on both of those um and work on your personal development and work on your mindset will in turn help you evolve to be the best the best the best version of you and that's what's really really important um there's no point in trying to be the best version of somebody else because they're the being the best version of them. You need to work on your personal development personally. So key, personal development to being the best version of you that you can be. So I found a few notes last night. Um, I made a few notes that I'm just going to reference. So um, it's something that, first of all, you need to realise is important. If you just kind of flip through day to day, you're not going to actually consciously make an effort to be the best version of you and to, to deal with situations in a certain way so having a personal development mindset that you take that means that you take responsibility for understanding yourself as an individual 
and for identifying and developing your own strengths and talents. It means you take control and become responsible for your own life and what you make of it. So it's realising actually, working on your personal development, it makes you actually realise that you are responsible. You are responsible for, um, you're not responsible for what's going on around you, but you're responsible for how you react to it. So you're responsible for the choices that you make, you're responsible for the relationships that you're in, you're responsible for what you let into your world, like it is all on you. Like literally, you are the master of your own destiny, as it were. And when you actually realise that, like literally, it's like like switching on a light bulb. Um, personal development covers activities that improve awareness and identify and develop talents and potential, build human capital and facilitate employability, actually, enhance the quality of life and contribute to the realisation of dreams and aspirations. Now, that's the bit that I wanted to focus on. Working on yourself and improving yourself, actually, like, it's like... You've got all these dreams and thoughts and visions and stuff like locked inside of you, like locked in a little chest. And when you actually work, what decide that you're going to make a decision, you're going to make a conscious choice to work on you and to be in the best version of you. It's like taking a key and unlocking everything that's like locked down inside of you. And once you actually start to work on your mind and work on, work on your personal development, it's like it just unlocks this treasure chest of possibility and passion and not worrying about what others think of you and it literally just like opens you up to whatever you want your life to be okay so personal development takes place over the course of a person's entire life not limited to self-help the concept involves formal and informal activities for developing um into the roles that you're supposed to be in your life whether that's um a coach a mentor um whatever that you feel it is supposed to be when personal development takes place in the, in the process of methods, programs, tools and techniques and assessment system, systems that support human development and the individual. Okay, so that means basically whether you it's about reading books, I'm going to give you some examples of books in a minute, um, whether there is a whole host of videos, podcasts, um, TED Talks on YouTube that you can listen to to help you really like tap into your subconscious mind and help you evolve into the best person um that you want to be okay so the first aspect there are certain aspects of personal development that you need to be aware of and therefore then you can work on them okay so the first aspect is improving your self-awareness okay self-awareness simply means being aware of yourself this includes your strengths flaws and that comes first before any type of other personal development so you need to first of all take a real cold hard look at yourself and actually be really honest with yourself. These are things that, we've, like I said, we've obviously touched on on previous days. But you, so you need to um, really be aware of who you are, what, what perhaps you're not that strong on and what you want to improve on. Um, the truth is, nobody knows you better than yourself. If you're not sure about your strengths, weaknesses and more, you can take a piece of paper and write them down. It's important you don't rush through because you want to make sure you've got them all covered as much as possible um, without missing them out. Also, this was, this was some notes that I've taken from somebody... Um, that I, that I follow. Um, some people say they don't have any strengths or, or weaknesses. I can tell you that it's totally, totally untrue. Every single person has strengths. It's difficult for everyone because as, as the human race, we we naturally kind of go, oh, well, I I'm not good at anything. Well, you are. There will be things that you are good at, so you need to focus on those. And the ones that you're not so good at, then you can work on getting better at. Okay, so take your time to do this and get a clear picture of yourself. Okay, the second aspect is building your own identity. There is no one on this planet that is more incredible than you because you are unique, you are individual, you are you have so many incredible, credible qualities that nobody else does. So you need to work on becoming the best version of you, for you, for your life, for your family, for your kids, for your business, for everything. So you need to work on building you and your own identity, okay? Everyone is different and each individual will only thrive if they know what they want. And knowing what you want begins with first knowing your own identity. And that's the second personal development aspect for self-growth. Okay, so it's actually realising that you've got to stop comparing yourself to other people. You've got to stop worrying about what other people are doing. And each of these subject matters that when Lisa and I brainstorm this, we realise actually they are going to overlap. There are going to be days that, you know, we might have talked about this. But that's why it's all so relevant and it's all like part of a big you know, part of a big jigsaw that, that all slots together. Um, 
if you rely on other people for your identity, you're never going to grow into the person that you're supposed to be. There are, just in to talk in sensey terms, there is a lot of superstar directors in the world, okay? There's a handful in the UK, but there's a lot in the world, okay? Um, each one of those is a sensey superstar director, but each one of those is so unique and individual and got to the top of the compensation plan by being the person that they are supposed to be, by stepping into the person that they're supposed to be. Okay, um, find out what makes you you. Don't copy the way others talk and behave just because they seem to be doing well. Discover how you talk and behave and then work on improving your identity. Okay, I can promise you this. If you can be the best you, you'll be well liked by others and people want to experience who you really are. And when that happens, you will also, you will have heard the term, your vibe attracts your tribe, okay? When you start living your best life and you start being true to you and... Now, this is something really important, something that I've realised over my five years in network marketing. When you actually start to be honest with yourself, when you start to be true to yourself, there's going to be people in your world that don't like it. Um, there's going to be people that actually, if you start to speak your truth and not, not in an unkind way but like some people won't agree with what you're doing and when you try and speak your beliefs you are you absolutely have the right to be who you want to be not everyone's going to like that and people will try and give you their opinions you need to literally not listen you need to put up those blinkers and focus on being the best version of you that you can be okay the final aspect discovering and developing your talents okay the final personal development aspect deals with talents that you have, not talents that other ha others have, but you don't. So why do I say that? Because if you admire others for a talent that they have, but you don't, then you're focusing on what you don't have. What I mean by that is, again, you need to focus on you. You need to focus on your strengths and what you can work on to be the best version of you. Okay, so there you have it. It will take a while before you discover, you know, it's... And it, you, Personal development is not something that you're going to wake up overnight and go, oh, I'm done, I'm fixed, I've, I, you know, I'm... The... Personal development is something that you work on every single day. Every single day you're going to be met with things in your life, you're going to be met with circumstances, you're going to be met with um, objections in your business, you're going to be met with adversity, you're going to be met with, um, I don't want to say problems, but you're going to be met with challenges, you're going to be met with things that are going to make you step outside your comfort zone. Now, let's be honest... The circumstance that we're living in at the moment is way beyond, like way beyond any of our comfort zone. Like n nobody is in a comfort zone right now, are they? Let's be honest. The life that we are living right now is so alien to all of us. Every, not, not one person has experienced this before. Not one person that is living today, me, my parents, my family, none of you, nobody has experienced what we're living in right now. So everybody is completely out of their comfort zone, but that is how you grow as a person. When you, when you step out of your comfort zone, that is how you grow as a person. So whether we like it or not at the minute, we've been pushed, we've not just been pushed, we've been picked up and thrown out of our comfort zone, whether we like it or not. Now, we can choose what we are going to do with that scenario. And this, this, what we're living through now is the biggest time of personal development you're probably ever going to have. And you didn't even realise you were going to be put in it because it's going to make you evaluate who you are. It's going to make you evaluate what you're going to do with your business. It's going to make you evaluate how you move forward. It's going to make you evaluate everything. So when the time, I'm a much more positive person than I used to be, but I'm human. I have my ups and downs and I'm always growing. Exactly that, Caroline. Every single person is human and unique and individual. And I'm totally gonna hold my hands up and I'm totally okay with saying this. I am a really, I know I'm a really positive person and I do always find the positives, but I am massively emotional. I do have days when I have to dig a hell of a lot deeper than others. Some days, and I'm very now, and this is why I felt that mindset was something that, it was something that um I could come on and talk about and be confident in talking about is because I know when my mindset is when when things are starting to get a bit foggy and when things are not working so then I have to step back so I know when I haven't done enough exercise like Lisa was saying yesterday I can feel when I haven't drunk enough water I can feel when things start to get a little bit out of my and then I go and my husband is so aware of this I'm like right Dan I need to go for a run tonight because otherwise it's all going to go to shit and he goes all right because he's seen me struggle when things are not 
are not where they need to be in my mindset. So what I'm saying is, I know it comes back to working on being the best version of you for you. I'm now totally comfortable with if um, I can start by, by admitting that if I can start to feel things get a little bit, oh my God, I can't, I'm having a bit of a, I don't want to say a bad day. I can feel not even anxiety, just I can feel things are getting a little bit out of my control. I know what I need to do to strip it back, to regain that control. And again, that's just being mindful and working on your mindset. So for me, it's exercise, it's eating good foods, it's being around people that lift me up. Um, it's not listening to negativity. Um, it's working on self-development. I'm going to give you some examples of some self-development books that I've read in the past um, in a minute. So it's just working on the best version of you for you and stepping outside of your comfort zone if you know your triggers, then you can bring peace to your mind. Exactly, Caroline. It's being conscious of what works for you and your mind. Um, and uh, coming back to what I was saying, so at the minute, we've all been, whether we like it or not, stepped, we've been like thrown out of our comfort zone. And that is where you grow as a person. So when all this when all this dies down and we're back to normal and the kids are back to school and everybody's back to work and, and a bit of normality resumes, how easy is that going to be? If you can... If you can get through this like literally we can get through anything so now is the time to work on your personal development to work on the things that are going to help you grow as a person now if for you that means taking a bit of time out to read a book that you love to spend time with your family to do some baking to go for a run whatever it may be for you it's about working on personally what is going to develop you as a person okay so um and i've also put here about realization and perspective so we've kind of covered that a minute ago. So you need to realise what is... You can come in, it's all right. What's the matter? What's the matter? Oh, you just give me a cuddle. All right. Um, then you need to realise, actually, what works for you. Okay, so... It matches. Yeah, he wants to just come and show you that his T-shirt... matches. His T-shirt matches his book. Okay, go on. Nearly done, dude. Okay, so... Um perspective it's really really important as well to find the perspective when things start to feel like they're a little bit out of your control it is so important to find the perspective so things might feel a bit out of your control at the minute but we've got up we the sun is shining you know you have a home to be in you have food in your fridge you are healthy you have to look around and gratitude is such a powerful tool for your mindset you have to be grateful for what you have it's okay to strive for more, but uh, throughout that process, you have to be grateful. Take a look around you. That's all right, my love. Um, take a look around you and be grateful and find the perspective because that will just bring calm and will help you have a stronger mindset and help you deal with whatever's going on in the world. Okay, so I am going to find some... going to get some personal development books down that I've read that I can recommend to you. As you say, I've got quite a collection up there, um, but haven't they, not all of these I read since I started um, in network marketing. Some of them I did read before, but um, I'm just going to give you. And each one of these, I do feel that I've got different things for. And remember, your mind is a muscle. Okay, you need to work on it, like everything. So whether that's re I, I do love reading, but whether it's reading, whether it's listening to podcasts, um, download Audible, there are literally that. There's a whole world of self development, personal development out there on the internet. I'll suppose speak to people. My sensory buddies are totally keeping me calm at the moment. Exactly. Surround yourself with people that are going to lift you up. Don't listen to the negativity. Again, covering what Lisa said yesterday. I touched on it the day before. It's all part of this big jigsaw. Okay, so you are a badass. Brilliant, okay? Just a few, yeah, just a few. <laughs> These are, this is over years, though. Um, how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life. Okay identify and change the self-sabotaging beliefs and behaviors that stop you from getting what you want and to create a life that you totally love and create it now okay this is obviously relevant to our industry um be a direct selling superstar um Heidi and Orville Thompson you may not may or may not know are actually quoted on the back of this book uh rarely does a book provide insight into both rich tradition and the bright future of direct selling Mary has nailed it every person interested in entrepreneurial success should read this book Straight from our CEO's mouth. Um, there is also another one which is upstairs in the bathroom because I've read it in the bath recently. Um, oh, this one's £3 in the works at the minute. Um, 
how to be a direct selling leader. So as you start to build a team. Um, oh, hello, everybody's just joining now. Hello, 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 my love. Um, right, let me just have a little sip of my coffee. Girl, stop apologising. Right, Rachel Hollis. Massive, 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 huge Rachel Hollis fan, as you all know. From the live I did the other day, and I shared her, shared the um, YouTube uh, advert for her book. So her first book is called Girl, Wash Your Face. That is the advert that I shared the other day. Kelly Sylvie's got that at the minute, my copy. Um, and this is her second book, Girl, Stop Apologising. Honestly, just absolute gold. Read them immediately. Um, Girl Code. Success, sanity and happiness for the female entrepreneur. As you'll see, personal development is so important to me. So important to my life, my business. And I cannot recommend, if it's, not, if it's something that you've never consciously made an effort to work on before, make the time to work on it. Because it will make your business grow. It will make your business flourish. It will make you flourish as a person. Okay, this one is a little bit different, right? This one... I actually read this before I started in network marketing. My husband um, works in, well, he doesn't work in sales anymore. He's a, he was in sales and he's now the, work on the direct, one of the directors of his company. But um, he actually read, read this years ago, gave it to me to read. And um, so what was I doing career-wise when I read this? I was working in a recruitment agency. Um, so I, I've, just, I've, been, I've always just been interested in, you know, in evolving my mind. Um, so I listened, I actually, before I read the book, I listened to the, um, audio book of this when I was driving. So the seven habits of highly effective people, powerful lessons in personal change. Basically, this literally strips it back to the science of being the best version, the, the most highly effective person that you can be. Really, really, really good book. He actually, Stephen Covey, he's got so many methods, um, I know Jo Davison, when she did her speak at Reunite in Manchester, she um, referenced some of his work. So he's he's a really good guy to get involved with, follow, read, find. Next one. Gemma Owens, my lovely, lovely friend and teamie, Gemma Owens, bought me this book when um, I hit Star Director. And I read it when I was on the sunbed in Ibiza in October, when in the rare pockets of time when Finley was sleeping. So um, good vibes, good life. How to... How to self how self love is the key to unlocking your greatest life. If you don't follow so Vex King, this guy, if you don't follow him on um, Instagram, go and follow him. He's just golden. What's that, Kida? Sorry. Atomic Habits by James Clear is also amazing and was recommended by Orville at SFI. Yes, I haven't read that one yet. That is definitely on my must read list. Okay, a couple more. Um. The Slight Edge. This one, I dropped in the bath, as you can see, which is why it's watermarked. And this one cost me, like, next to nothing on Amazon. I remember I went on there. Um, so this is called The Slight Edge. Turning simple disciplines into massive success. Okay. The Slight Edge makes you aware of the unwritten rules that we all live by and just weren't aware of. Jeff explains these principles in an easy-to-understand manner that will have you reevaluating re those insignificant decisions you make every day. So... What that means is, like I said a minute ago, there's things that we do every day, there's things that we do consciously, and there's things that we do subconsciously. And it's your subconscious mind that you need, that needs to strengthen to put procedures into place to make you live your best life, to be the best version of you that you can be. So, it's simple, simple disciplines. Um, there's something that... I think... I wasn't sure if Lisa was going to talk about it tomorrow or I was going to do it today. But do you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to mention it. And if we've overlapped, it's cold. Um, one of the most effective things you can do to put you in the right mindset for the day, and you might have heard this before, and there's a really famous speech, and I can't remember the guy, but he's stood in a white... He's, like in, he's, in, he's in the military of some form, and he's stood in a white um, thing. Buddy love Amazon Prime. Just purchased Girl Code and you are a badass. Amazing. Um, and one of the most effective things to get you in the right mindset for your day is to make your bed. If you get up every single day and you make your bed, if you achieve nothing else in that day, you'll go back at the end of the day and you will have made your bed. And how much how much calmer are you going to feel if you get up, you come downstairs, do whatever, you go upstairs, your bed's all lovely and tidy. If you go upstairs and the duvet's all over the place and the pillars are all messy, it's not going to set you in a good frame of mind. So to put you in the right mindset and the right frame of mind for the day, get up and make your bed. And when I've finished... I will find the 
the YouTube video and share it in the group and it's really, really relevant. So make your bed really, really simple, but really, really effective. Okay, last one, last couple actually. Start with why. Why some people and organisations, why are some people and organisations more inventive, pioneering and successful than others? And why are they able to repeat their success again and again? Because in business, it doesn't matter what you do, it matters why you do it. Steve Jobs, the Wright Brothers and Martin Luther King all had one thing in common. They started with why. This book is for anyone who wants to inspire others and be inspired. Um, when we did the leadership uh, training with Holly Baker last year, or the year before, was I pregnant? I can't remember. Anyway, Holly, every year Holly runs an accelerated leadership training. It's like a six-week course. Um, and I did it and I completed it. And this was the focus of one of the weeks. Start with why. If you do not know why you are doing something, you're just going to flit along day to day, have no purpose. Okay, it's really important that you have a really strong why and you find out why you're doing what you're doing. You know, why are you working your sense of business? What is it? Your why might change as we, as we go on. And obviously, and this is a whole nother, a whole nother training in its own. But this one is definitely a really, really um, good book to read. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this up. 30 minutes, we, tried to, we said we we're going to keep this to 30 minutes. So, really, really important, personal development. I'm going to come back just to summarise the stages, the three aspects of personal development. Let me come in here. So, self-awareness. Looking at yourself, looking at your strengths, looking at your weaknesses, and looking at what you want to work on. Okay. Knowing and building your own identity. Don't try and be somebody else. You need to work on your own personal not anybody else, personal development, okay? Third thing, discovering and developing your talents. And that is going to be a lifelong journey. Every day, always be learning. Be a sponge. I know we said that yesterday, but be a sponge. Soak up. But don't just expect to get up one morning and be a direct sales, network marketing expert, leader, top of the comp plan without some form of personal development, or, or con not, not some form of personal development, constant, constant personal development, because not only is it going to help you in your business, it's going to help you in your life, and your relationships, and the way you view the world, and just everything, so honestly, it's really, really important to take the time, self-love, and personal development, so important, I'm going to go, I'm going to love you and leave you, like I said, I'm going to find the, um, make your bed, I'm going to share it in the group. If you've got any questions or any comments or anything, pop them on the thread below. And the lovely Lisa will be back tomorrow for day four of our Mindset Masterclass. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you later. Bye.